Hey everyone, I wish you and your family for your safety and your healthy life away from all these craziness. And then I'm also sorry to hear that uh, Gene from uh, Audioholics had uh, infected. So I wish him the best and get well soon. I have a three review sample uh, speakers coming in for this few months and those are all postponed and uh, I got the uh, new amplifier that uh, most likely I'm gonna be sticking with. I felt like I need to do a proper detailed review of uh, my long-lived and still loved Dano PME 2004R integrated amplifier. I purchased in August, I think in 2006. So it cost me around like $980 back then. Back in 1996, first generation of this amplifier was released in Japan as a PME 2000. That it doesn't even have a remote control offering back then. So back then I had the Arcuphase E306 integrated amplifier, which is a lot more than uh, this amplifier. Originally, they started selling for 10,000 yen in Japan, which is like a thousand dollars roughly so that's how they started and immediately it won so many awards and when the uh, product of the year or uh, best integrated amplifier of the year and that kind of award so many awards only thing that a lot of people don't know about this amplifier is this amplifier is way underrated but if you measure it it will put out around like 115 to 119 watts rms at 8 ohm other manufacturers they will rate like dynamic power of this amplifier like other small scale uh, brands like boutique brands they will rate at least probably 140 watts at 8 ohm that's what they will do and that's what they've been doing i had the arcuphase i had uh, many amplifier i don't have any problem and then uh, I switch over to Parasound. I had a few problems like volume control popping out and then a power amp uh, bias shifted to one side and one side is louder and one side is weaker. So that kind of problem I had. So I'm, I was a bit tired of uh, quality control of uh, some manufacturers. This one replaced my Arcuphase 306. That I was using which is rated for like 100 watts I believe but this one totally outperformed the Arcuphase and base performance and you know mid-range clarity so that's the reason I replaced Arcuphase 306 with this one so this is uh, a little light will be blinking the blue light now it's ready and it's stable. So this one has the uh, this tone control, which works okay. I mean, for the price, it works very good. And balance control and the bias. I checked the two stereo channel, you know, left and right bias in 2017 at the shop. They measure it and they said it, everything is within factory specs. So which is really impressive. You're not gonna find many amplifier or channel bias within factory specs after 10 years and uh, input selector switch if you have this kind of a uh, PMA series amplifier the input selector switch that you have to look out for because over time it has uh, some sort of uh, oxidation or some sort of uh, thing that built up on that surface when you open it you can clean the uh, inside of it or you can take it to the shop to clean it when it's uh, acting weird so uh, luckily uh, only happened to me once and I clean it and it went away so now it's perfect or oh, everything is working perfectly as it the day I bought it the sound is a uh, ear of a beholder but you know this is uh, one of the good all-around amplifier if you're not particular about or if you are not looking for a certain sound quality this one have a very very good bass control very clean and energetic mid-range and it has the uh, cleanly roll off a high frequency it's not bright sounding amplifier at all if you are looking for like a really good reliable and powerful integrated amplifier if you are not looking for like an overly smoothed out rich and tone signature this one is pretty natural and neutral side but it's a little bit of warmish 
10 on the overall sound signature. Bass control, if you are using a hard to drive uh, speakers like LS50s or small mini monitor speakers, this one will totally take control over any hard to drive speakers except for when I try with the uh, big panel uh, Martin Logan speaker, this one is not that pair well with the uh, electrostatic speakers but other than that if you are gonna use with regular dynamic uh, bulk speakers this one will totally fine this one and LS50 match really great I'm proud the best sound out of LS50 I had in my system even with the Parasound separates. So Parasound separates are okay, but it doesn't have enough uh, instrument separations or very spaciously wide sound signature when I play in with the LS50s. It sounds very good, but kind of narrow sound stage. This one sound stage is much wider and more spacious, less coloration, and then a bit more vivid and more closer to the actual playing instrument and I got rid of the power sound. I'm not saying power sounds are bad or anything like that. Some people may get offended. I'm just saying sound accuracy and neutrality. Current model of this amplifier is PMA 2500NE and they are still using very same similar topology especially the dual mono design probably they improve uh, pre stage and they added a uh, digital analog converter, which is really good, by the way. I think it's a power stage and everything stay the same, probably the minor improvements. And E stands for New Era, which is the head designer and sound manager were replaced by much younger generation so that's why they call it an e at the end of the model my advice is if you're in the market for or if you don't mind getting a used amplifier in 2000 series i think is uh 2004 r is where they made uh, major improvements over previous generations especially in pre-stage that's what they did on a PME 2004R. So R stands for remote control. They also have a version without the remote control. I don't think that version is available here in North America. As you can see, there is like a copper holder for the uh, custom capacitors. So capacitors and two um, transformers are mounted on the center rail, elevated center rail, also copper metal sheet underneath it. So that's definitely help lower the noise floor. I use Dynamet all over underneath the uh, amplifier section, except for the uh, you know venting uh, mesh area. This is where I did the, all the Dynamet treatments at the bottom uh, floor of the uh, chassis because I just want to make sure it's damping. I also did, did it on the top cover. Gray one, as you can see on the top of the uh, front uh, wall, that's a factory uh, dynamite kind of uh, material. So this amplifier, I think it, it will last for a very long time. I don't see any major problems unless uh, someone really abuse it. Personally, I really like this one with the uh, hard to drive uh, mini monitor speakers. They can totally produce crazy amount of bass out of uh, mini monitor speakers with full authority and good mid range with very detailed overall soundscape that you can enjoy your music. So if you are in the market for a uh, thousand or under a thousand dollars, you should really look into this BMA 2000 series amplifier because you will get best bang for your money because it will have a good power to drive good power supplies and top-notch build quality build quality of this amplifier is comparable to three four five thousand dollars amplifiers in today's market internet built-in phono stage is very good compatible with a moving choir and moving magnet and the sound quality is very nice very quiet not a lot of background noises and overall price to performance and quality ratio is very hard to beat and also i really like this integrated amplifier with like a kef ls 50s kef uh, q series i also like the sound with the uh, focal uh, aria 906 and then i like the uh, sound with the powers and Wilkins uh, 600 and 700 series speakers it sounds really good this is my highly recommended uh, integrated amplifier if you are in the market for used under a thousand dollar price range very hard to beat 
in terms of price and performance and sound quality of this unit it will last you very very long time highly recommended amplifier you may even keep it for your lifetime that's what i'm going to do that's it my friends thank you for watching and happy listening be safe out there